Hello everybody, it's GB and today I have a little bit of a haul for you. I was really struggling finding masks that fit my face. I wanted to test them out and try some new ones and I thought this would be a really good opportunity to seek out some small businesses and order from their sites and shops so that I could promote them and hopefully just sort of pass along a nice cycle where, um, you know, if you're interested in purchasing from more small businesses or checking out uh, different shops that aren't like Target, we love Target, but you know, that um, I'll be able to use my platform um, to help promote them. So I'll be listing all of the shops and links in the description box below so you can figure out where I got all these fantastic masks. Some of them um, might not have worked for me, but they could definitely work for you, so I'll show them all and give my, um, my thoughts and reviews on each one. Based on um, just some reading that I've been doing about different studies and things, it seems like cotton masks, or especially multi-layered cotton masks, seem to be a really good bet right now, um, on par with like the surgical masks. I think the N95s are obviously the most protective, um, but especially if, if you're like working as a doctor or a nurse um, taking care of COVID-19 patients. But for everyday wear, rewashability, um, wearing to the store, stuff like that, um, it seems like cotton masks are holding up really well. So that's what I think almost all of these are. I think all of these are cotton um, fabric, multi-layered, and some of them even have slots for filters if you want to do that as well. But let's get started. So the first two masks are from a shop called Three Busy Bees. Three Busy Bees. And I have, I kept some of the, I lost some of the papers and stuff. Oh, here's their official card there. Three Busy Bees. You can find them on Instagram at Three Busy Bees. You can also email them at Three Busy Bee at gmail.com. Now, these masks have worked so well for me. Um, I found that the regular size adult masks are a bit too big for my face, so I knew that I needed something that was really adjustable, and that's where they shine. So this is the mask that I've been wearing the most frequently. This is actually not the mask that I ordered. They sent this to me for free, which was so unnecessarily nice of them. Thank you so much. Um, and I didn't realize how much I would love this one. But it's got like a black night sky gold star pattern. And the other side is a yellow moon and stars pattern. But I actually found myself drawn to wearing like the black side most. So the thing that I really like about these masks is that on the inside here, there is an adjustable little piece of like flat wire. This goes across your nose bridge and it makes the mask so comfortable. Um, and then the elastic loops on the end, it's pretty ingenious. They just have a little bead and the bead can be pulled up and down to adjust the size of your ear loops. I pull my hair back here. I've already adjusted this mask. And because I could do the nose bridge, ta da! It never falls off my face. It's very, very comfortable. I love it. I think the sizing is perfect. There's like very, very minimal gapping here. No gapping here. No gapping on the sides. I really like this one. I think this has got to be my winner, but honestly, I have to spend some time with the other ones. 
So when I come back in from the store, or wherever I was, I wash my hands, take the mask off, wash the mask in hot water with soap, and then I leave it to dry. The other mask I got from them is this Mario mask. This is my party mask. It has a bunch of Mario characters on it. You got Bowser, Rosalina, Peach, Bowser Jr. Who else do I say? Daisy, Toad, Mario, Luigi. Oh, there's Yoshi. Little Goombas. It's wonderful. And the other side is a bee pattern. I really like bees because of GB. <laughs> and this is cute because their store name is Three Busy Bees. So you could do either side. And I believe, forgive me if I'm wrong, but the backstory of Three Busy Bees is that they are teachers. They're teachers making masks from home. Um, so that's what I was like, you know, small business as it gets, um, if you really just want to be supporting individuals, um, especially supporting teachers and during this time, I feel like is really great, so please check them out. Again, this one fits super well. I'm assuming the same, like, um, sewing pattern as the last one. You sort of just Press the wire on your nose. It creates a perfect fit. Look how cute that is. <laughs> and they have a ton of fabrics. A lot of these places um, have many, 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 many options. So I tried to pick some interesting ones to show off. So definitely check them out. Next, let's see if I can find, I tried to keep everyone's card, but I think I lost, I lost Allie's. This is from Enchanted Trimmings. Yeah. Okay. Of course I lost Allie's card, Allie. I'm so sorry. But I do have your Etsy site pulled up. So this Etsy shop is owned by a GB viewer, a fellow GBlet. Um, her Etsy shop is Magical Reagan, and she offers two different types of masks. She has the cup-shaped cotton face mask and the pleated cotton face mask. I told her to surprise me on the fabrics. So this is our first one. It's this really cute peach color with white crystals. Allie is super into crystals. Um, she has tarot bags. She has bracelets. Beautiful stuff on her shop. I love this one. It fits my face really well. The fabric is so cute. It doesn't have wire in it, but it, again, just really happens to work for my face. Seems like a pretty, really good universal fit. Um, it goes under my chin really nicely. There's absolutely no gapping there, which I like a lot. So there you have it. Very easy to talk. And the other one she sent me was this really cute tie-dye, tie-dye, tie-dye mask. And I'm going to go ahead and put this one on. Now the pleated ones. You, I should have just put my hair in a ponytail for this, honestly. I might. Um, Because it's pleated, you can just pull it to fit where you want it to or need it to on your face. So here we have this really cute tie-dye multicolor. 
face mask, this one is super comfortable. It doesn't feel, it feels the least restricting um, out of all the masks. It's very, very, co like, comfy. <laughs> Definitely like that. It's like if you have to wear a mask for a really long time, like, I'd probably grab this one. Do a little bit more like moving space. Face <laughs> tap. So thank you, Allie. Again, check out her Etsy shop at Magical Regan. M A G I C K A L R E G A N. Handmade items for the modern mystic. Ooh. The next mask is from. A website called Yarn and Whiskey Handcrafted Accessories. It's Yarn and Whiskey dot com. Instagram at Yarn and Whiskey. Email orders at Yarn and Whiskey dot com. really cute. I love this pattern. And it has a slot for a filter, which I have inside. So this mask would have three layers. The first layer, the filter layer, and then the second layer. So this one feels super protective. I was excited to get this one because they come in many different sizes, many, many different adorable fabric choices, and the size that I got was tween. So there's adult sizes, large adult sizes, tween sizes, kid sizes. You can pick um, cord or elastic. Um, this one is the, I think this is the cord. It's just like, well, it's obviously not elastic. Um, and so I was interested to see if this would fit me because my face is small. So after figuring out the size of the ear loops, that would fit best for me. This one is definitely one of my go-to masks now. The size fits me pretty well. If you don't have a small face, again, they have adult sizes and even large adult sizes. Um, so this is one of their smallest masks. Like, I'm gonna look up masks, kid masks. They have child or tween. <laughs> Um, so this is 7 inches wide, 5 inches long, should fit kids ages 10 to 13 or 14. That's me. But I really like this one. I feel really good in it. And I was very happy with my purchase. Definitely check them out. The prints are gorgeous. Next, we have uh, another Etsy shop called Kaiju Cut and Sew. I believe they're based out of Austin. Uh, Chris Gomez is the owner. This might be a little bright, sorry. But you can find them on Etsy at Kaiju Cut and Sew. They even sent a little sticker. Um, pretty much all of these shops sell more than just masks. So they're worth, all of them are worth checking out um, for different things. They're also on Instagram at Kaiju Kunso. Now this one, I am devastated to say, is so big on me. Um, but I could not resist buying it just in case. It's this Totoro. <laughs> Totoro and Friends fabric print. Um, comes with double loop ears. And it's so interesting that each one, um, each mask is constructed a little differently. And they have little 
emblem on the side. Now this one <laughs> is very big on me. I think I will be hard pressed to have Ben wear it, but I think he should. <laughs> Again, their shop has so many cute options. If you don't need a smaller mask, I would definitely check them out. Definitely. This is made really well. The sewing looks amazing. The fabric choices are so cute. Definitely a good option. The inside is like this navy. Very nice complimentary. Next we have, okay, I took a gamble on another child mask. This one did not pay off for me. However, I'm very interested in purchasing one of their adult masks now. I think it would fit me. This is a mask from B Yellowtail. B Yellowtail. Let's see. Their name right here, B Yellowtail. Um their website is beyellowtail.com and again, so this is a lot of masks, but they also have apparel, handmade by native artists, indigenous beauty care, and something called the collective where it seems like there's a bunch of different artists and you can shop by the artists. They have really cute tie-dye cotton face masks, and this is the softest fabric um, of any mask I've gotten so far. But I went ahead and got the kid size. And although it kind of fits, it like really stretches into my mouth. It makes me feel really creepy when I talk. Um, so I do think that I would fit the adult size. Let's see. Adult small, adult standard, and little kids. And I think that they were all sold out of what I wanted. <laughs> so I bought the kid size as a gamble. And I think I need an adult small, actually. Adult small sky blue. Oh, they're in stock again. I'm gonna buy this before I, before I post this video. Um, but I'm definitely gonna place another order and try to get a size that fits. And I'll probably just give this to one of my friends who has kids. But I love the fabric. They have um, light blue and dark blue as well as this. from the AC Space. Um, the AC Space is a genderless apparel line that creates and designs clothing with a sustainable eye while advocating for social change. It's fashion with an environmental conscience. We utilize dead stock materials that would otherwise be destined for landfills. We don't believe in fast fashion. Instead, we design for limited run drops. All of our products are made locally in the US, specifically New York City, which is where we are based. I got a small, so it seems like I might even need an extra small. I got this foodie mask. The print is so cute. So fun. Again, they have incredibly fun reversible styles. The other side is blue and white, off-white stripes. But this is their small, and it says it fits most women and people under 5'9", on 5'10". And it's just too big for me, unfortunately. Yeah, definitely. Definitely got a small. I 
I'll probably grab the extra small and see if that fits because I really like this fabric again I'll probably give this one to Ben even though he likes a very plain mask so come on live a little live a little um but the other mask I got was a size small this one is a window so, some people are making masks with clear windows in it for people who rely on lip reading or hard of hearing or need more visuals than um, a closed mask would provide. So, I really wanted to try one of these out. Um, okay, it's probably... I'm trying to decide what way, where it matters. I think it's this way. So... Again, I got a small, but it's a little too big for me. These masks do fog up, but you can obviously see my mouth more than you could with a mask that didn't have this window. Again, I'd be curious if this actually fit my face right, but you would have to exaggerate your mouth to compensate for the the mist on your mouth, but I think this is a really good option for um, people who need it. It's hard to come up with a solution that um, I think benefits everyone. Like, we have to wear masks, but some people are going to suffer if they can't see people's mouths, so it's like, um, I definitely commend people for trying to figure out a solution. So, Though I don't think it's the perfect solution, it is better than no solution. So, I definitely thought that was worth looking into. Um, again, I, this is a small size. I would probably go for an extra small. And they go all the way up to large. That is the AC Space Masks. Now the last mask. I have to or torn, torn my house apart trying to find this mask. I wore it two days ago, out and about. I took Satine to the dog park, and I loved this mask. It is from Enchanted Trimmings. You can find on Instagram and Etsy at Enchanted Trimmings. It was this adorable rainbow mask. She even sent me a little card. GB, thank you for your order. I love the color combo you picked. It's got sweet candy vibes. I hope you and your loved ones are staying safe during this time. Stay enchanted, Alyssa. And I love this mask and I cannot find it and I'm devastated, but I had to film this video. It came in this little pouch. And the best part about this one was that there's a loop that goes over your head here all the way around and then you tie the bottom so it's perfectly customizable to your face and that baby did not move an inch as I was chasing after my puppy around the park. This mask stayed put and I really, really liked it. Very comfortable and it just stayed put. I'm very sad that I cannot find it. I'm gonna make a concerted effort. I think as soon as I stop looking, it'll probably show up. In which case, I will make a little insert video. Uh, hopefully before this video needs to go live. Otherwise, please check out her Etsy shop. Highly recommend her masks. Very beautiful. Hello, it is GB from the future. I don't remember if I whispered or soft spoke in this video. So I'm going to play it safe and whisper. Um, I'm pretty sure I soft spoke. It's fine. I found the mask that I lost. So now I can show it to you after I give you all the details on the shop. On the shop. On the shop. It comes. 
against all of the ones I tried. Again, there are so many options out there. I know it can definitely be overwhelming, but hopefully seeing some of these, uh, maybe one of them strike to your fancy or piqued your interest a little bit, depending on your mask needs um, and design preferences. There's obviously so much out there, so thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting these businesses, and I hope you're all being safe. nice and comfortable and hopefully easing your anxieties a bit because I know it can be scary to go out so it feels a lot better when you take extra extra steps um, to make everyone around you safe as well as yourself so I care about you all I hope you sleep well 